Hi, this is Nick and this is my channel, Originic. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a micro SD card that you can use to run Windows on your Steam Deck. In my next video, I'll show you how to install Valorant and get Valorant working on your Steam Deck. The first step is to download the Windows Media Creation Tool, which will allow us to download the Windows ISO. Click on Download Now, and once it has completed downloading, you can open the file. I'll put the link to this page in the video's description. I'll help walk you through this process, but be aware that it will take much longer on your system because I'm cutting out all of the waiting time for the video. Feel free to pause and resume the video as needed. Click Accept on the first page, then choose the Create Installation Media option, which will allow us to download the Windows 10 ISO. Just leave everything default. We do want Windows 10 64-bit and click Next. And then choose ISO file, not USB flash drive. Let's save this to Downloads. And this process, at least last time I did it, it took a little while. I guess it depends on how fast your internet is. Okay, so now we have the Windows ISO, and the next step is going to be to create an image of, or to install that image basically on our micro SD card. To do this, we're going to run Rufus, uh, version 3.21 is the latest, and it worked fine for me, so. Pull this up. Um, I used one that's 512 gigabytes so that I have plenty of room to install additional programs and to have my games and files. So we're going to select the Windows ISO that we created earlier with the Windows Media Creator. And you can just leave all this stuff de default except we want to use a Windows to go image option. That allows you to have this just micro SD card that has Windows on it and it doesn't modify your Steam Deck. You can just pop it in, play your games on Windows, do whatever you want to do on Windows, and then shut down the Steam Deck, eject it, and you're back to normal Steam Deck with normal Steam OS. So that's really convenient. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name this Windows 10 just to make it a little easier to remember what I'm trying to do and then you can just click start. I chose Windows 10 Pro. You can choose whichever version of Windows you'd like. Then you can click OK. From here you can leave all of these options unchecked and click OK again. It's going to warn you, hey, we're going to get rid of all this stuff. We want to do that, so click OK. If for some reason you had files you needed to back up, you could back those up before you did that onto a different drive. And this will take a little while. Uh, throughout this video I've been skipping over the boring parts, so it seems like it goes a lot faster than it does, but it does take quite a while. So, you know, do something else at, at this same time while you're waiting, or go, go away from your computer, do some stretching, some exercises, whatever, and then come back. Okay, that took a while, but it's finally done. So now we can just close that. Now we're going to copy over some drivers that I downloaded previously. Again, I'll put the links in the description. But here we go. So these drivers from Steam support page, which I have unzipped. And now I just need to copy them over. copy them into a new folder called drivers. This will allow us to install these drivers after Windows is installed. Now that that's done we can just go ahead and eject. We can safely eject our micro SD card. Now that that's been ejected we can go ahead and move over to the Steam Deck to actually complete the installation process. This is the USB to micro SD converter that I got off of Amazon and I'm just going to take it out here and set it aside for a minute and then before we can install Windows we need to turn off the Steam Deck. To do that just hold down the power button for a second and then go down to 
shut down. So I got it connected to a keyboard so some of the buttons are being weird. But shut down, confirm. Now that that's shut down, we can insert the micro SD card. Just push the bottom, pop out the one you have in there already if you've got one in there. And then insert the new one. Should kind of click in there. Uh, to switch to boot from the micro SD card instead of from the internal SSD. We're going to hold down the volume down button and then just press once the power button. The second option is our SD card. So we'll go down, enter. Okay, now we've made it to the Windows Setup Wizard, but the screen is sideways. Uh, we'll fix that after we get through the wizard. Go ahead and click Next to go to the next step. Sorry about the footage here. I didn't realize that it wasn't in focus. Um, here, we're just entering a product key if you have one, or you can skip and do that later. Uh, choosing Windows 10 Pro or whichever version of Windows you want to use and then just following through the other steps of getting Windows set up. It's pretty straightforward. Choose your region. I'm in the United States, so that's the one I picked. Next, you'll pick your keyboard layout and whether or not you want a secondary layout. After that, you'll need to either hook your Steam Deck up to a dock with a connected Ethernet port, or you'll need to skip the internet step for now. Once Windows is fully set up, you can use the Steam Deck's built-in Wi-Fi adapter to connect to a wireless network. I have a dock with Ethernet access, so I'm going to hook that up now. From here, it's just a waiting game while Windows does its thing. Uh, be prepared for the Steam Deck to reboot during this process. The rest of the setup process is according to your preferences. I like to turn off anything that allows Microsoft to track me and decline all of their offers. After you've specified all of your preferences, it will ask you if you want to install Windows 10 or 11. I chose Windows 10 just because I know that all of my games and programs work on Windows 10, but the Steam Deck actually is compatible with Windows 11, so if you'd like to use that, you're welcome to. Okay, the first thing we want to do is get this easier to work with by switching to landscape mode. So first we'll right click anywhere on the desktop, not on the taskbar, and then scroll down to display settings. Here where it says display orientation, switch to landscape. For me, it's the bottom option. And then click on keep changes. There, that's a lot better. Okay, then we'll come to our file explorer and go to the C drive which is actually your SD card, and it's got the drivers folder here that we put on it when we were on Windows. And we'll go through one by one and install these drivers. The first driver we'll install is the Aerith Windows driver, which is the APU driver, and we'll just click, double click on the setup.exe program to install it. And go ahead and run through that setup wizard. I'm not gonna go through each one of these, that would be boring, but double click setup and go through the wizard and then we'll go back to drivers the next driver is the Bayhub SD store driver that's for the SD card reader double click on the setup.exe to install that and after you're done go back to drivers the next driver is called CS35I41 and you'll want to click into that until you find the .inf file You'll right click on that and click on install. We just installed one of the audio drivers and now we're going to install the other audio driver. This one is called NAU88L21. And again, you'll go into the folder structure until you find the .inf file. And again, right click and click install on that. The next driver is the Bluetooth driver. It's called RTBlueR underscore filter driver and you'll click into that one until you find the install driver script and double click that. The last driver we'll install is the Wi-Fi driver and this will finally allow you to connect your Steam Deck while running Windows to your wireless router. 
This one is called RTL WLAN E, and this one just has a normal setup script again. You now have a fully functioning version of Windows on your Steam Deck, and now you can do things like install Valorant, which is what I'll show in my next video, so subscribe so you can be notified when that comes out. I hope this was helpful for you. I apologize for some of the sound quality and the editing. I'm new to all this and learning, and hopefully I'll just get better as I go. Have a great day.